look at the given we see angle N is equal to angle L come down here we can already have the mark on here for the arc for the angle so that means that I have an angle here okay and an angle here so though so these two triangles here J K N and M K L we're having to prove arc congruence next thing we get uh, JK is equal to MK. It's already got us a mark, so it's going to be a side. All right. All right, so I have a side. Okay, developing. Now, that's it. That's all that's given. Okay, when you now you got to bring in some other things. The two things that most commonly occur that you need to bring in that's not in our given would be vertical angles and the reflexive property. These are vertical. Okay, so let's put two arcs here and here. There's where we get us our another A. So we would get angle, angle, side. Okay, so in other words, angle, this angle corresponds to this angle. Okay, and then I've got this angle that's congruent to this angle. There's my A and my side. So angle, angle, side, and angle, angle, side. That means the triangles are congruent by the angle angle side theorem or postulate.